from the book of Revelation chapter 22. Verses 10 and 11. From the King James Version of the Bible, we find these words recorded. And he saith unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. From these two verses of scripture, I want to preach and teach from the subject, get right with God while you still have time. Get right with God while you still have time time. Amen. In verse 10 of our text, the angel in the verses prior to the verses of our text tells John not to seal the sayings of the prophecy of this book because the time was at hand. There are two things that I want to point out as it relates to this verse. The first thing I want to point out is that in the B clause of Daniel chapter 8, verse 26, a messenger commands Daniel to shut up the vision. Because it, meaning the vision, shall be for many days. In other words, because none of the things in the vision would happen for a long time, Daniel was told to keep the vision secret. Then in the A clause of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4, Daniel is told to shut up the words and seal the book even until the time of the end. Why? Because the message Daniel received was not for that time. However, here in Revelation chapter 22 verse 10 John is told not to seal the sayings of the prophecy of this book because the time of their fulfillment was at hand. Bring me down one notch. The second thing that I want to point out of this verse is the thought of things coming to an end or being fulfilled is really nothing new. But because the end is not yet, there are those who think, with emphasis on the word think, that they have more time than they actually do. But I came to announce that the end is closer today than it was yesterday. Proof of that is in Romans chapter 13, verse 11, where Paul writes, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. 
And what is implied there is it's high time to awake out of sleep of spiritual complacency. For now is our salvation nearer than we first believe. To say that it is nearer than we first than when we first believed is to say that it is nearer than when we first believed in Christ. We need to get that because the word salvation throws some people off in that verse. He said, for now is our salvation, meaning uh, the time that we will be delivered is nearer than when we first or when we believed in Christ. Translation the time that God will deliver us out of this world is nearer now than when you first got saved. Then in James chapter 5, verse 8, James writes, Be ye also patient. And then the verse is prior to that. He was talking about how the farmer waits, and, you know, and people have to wait you know, uh, and so on and so forth in this life. He said, but you also be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draws nigh, meaning it draws near. We see it again in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7, where Peter writes, but the end of all things is at hand, is near. He says, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Be sober-minded and watch unto prayer. Finally, we see it in Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, where John writes, Blessed is he that reads... And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, read the last part with me, for the time is at hand. The time is near. So again in verse 10 of our text, John is told to seal the sayings of the prophecy of this book because the time of their fulfillment was near. Now, verse 11 tells us just how near that time will be. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Notice the use of the word still in this verse. In the context of the scripture, it means up to and including the present or the time mentioned. Up to and including the present or including the time mentioned. Therefore, still in this context, text, means even now. What this suggests is that since Jesus is going to come so suddenly, there won't be time for change. I know some people disappointed. We done got all caught up. We have praised. We have worshiped God. And then I come with a word like this. But pardon me while I obey the Lord. It suggests that Jesus is going to come so suddenly that there won't be time to change. There'll be no time for last minute repentance. Are we together? The time will come where the conditions of both the evil and the good will be fixed forever. Yeah. 
So whether you've had a relationship with the Lord or have had a relationship with the Lord at some point in the past, but have strayed away, you can be forgiven. But the time to do it is now. Time to do it is now because uh, uh, tomorrow is not promise. All we have is right now. It, it's not guaranteed that I'll take another breath. Huh? But it's all right. It's, it's all right. Are you listening to me? It's not guaranteed that I'll make it back to my seat. But if not... It's all right. It's, it's well. It's well with my soul. Are we together? So I'm going to say it again just because I want to. Whether you have never had a relationship with the Lord or whether you've had a relationship with the Lord at some point in the past, but you've strayed away, you can be forgiven. But the time is now. Because all we have is right now. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah writes, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. Let him return to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Based on the tone of the text, there's a sense of urgency that's on the prophet. And as it was then, so it is now. Do it while you can. Do it before it's too late. Because whatever state you're in, when the Lord comes back to judge the world, it shall remain as it is. That's the word of God. Get right with God while you still have time. Get right with God while you still have time. Get right with God while you still have time.